So I have a, this is the CDC Caddis pattern that I posted some pictures on a little while ago. Uh, it's made from basically CDC and then the overwing um, can be a number of different feathers. Um, but we'll go through those as we tie. Uh, so I've mounted a Daiichi 1190 in, in the vise here and I'm just going to wax up my thread. Let's put a little wax on my forefinger. And I'm running a Zemperfly um, 18 knot. So we'll just start with a standard threading procedure and move to the base of the hook. And just past the point we'll stop and cut off the tag end. Uh, so I've selected from Zemperfly through their packages of CDC which are really high quality material. So with the CDC here I've just selected uh, both out of a pack of olive for the body and uh, out of the black for the wings. Uh, I'm tying this to represent a, a black CD or a black caddis that uh, is common in, in Europe and um, I'll uh, place in a fine copper wire and here I'm running the Zemperfly 0 0.01 millimeter uh, copper wire. It's very fine copper wire. It won't uh, sink your fly for your dry flies. And I'll just start that with one little wrap, two, two wraps in the back. And then uh, we'll apply some longer CDCs. And I've selected three here for the, for the body. And I'm just going to wrap that in and bring those touching turns, bring it forward. I don't worry too much about if I've got it all in, tied, lashed in a few pieces or sticking out, that's fine. Um, it all incorporates into a nice body anyways. So, And I'll take this CDC and I'll just twist it into a rope. And I'll reverse wrap it. Two just behind the eye of the hook. And at this point, we'll just tie off a few turns. away the excess material. Again, don't worry too much about extra CDC sticking out <coughs> around the body of the fly. All that incorporates into just more legs and movement in the pattern itself when it's actually laying on the water. So now I'll wrap my one mil wire and just even wraps towards the eye of the hook and we'll tie that off. that material. At this point what I've done is I've taken the black CDC and I've taken four or five stems and I've matched up the butt ends and they're all relatively the same shape and I'll just clump it together and lay the wing in on top so that the wing just comes to the back of the bend of the hook for measurement and we'll tie that down sure it's nice and firm, tight in place on top. Pull the material back, take a couple few turns in front and that'll lock it. And then just snip it all off. And we'll just clean up that head area a little bit. 
So the overwing, there's a number of things you can use for the overwing. The original pattern I used uh, summer duck or what's also known as wood duck and it's, I just used a flank feather so it's nicely barred kind of a lemony color. Um, that was one that was the original pattern which it, it's absolutely perfect and I just clean up the barbules uh, remove the fluff and get into a, where the barbs are a little longer because not only do I want this as my wing but I also want antennas from this same group of feathers um, so we can use that I also have uh, some northern shoveler uh, flank feather uh, you can also use grouse um, flank feathers off of grouse or I, I, I like to use that in a little darker pattern and then uh, you can also use uh, Coq de Leon which is exceptional and again you can choose and select strip material away from the feather um, <clears throat> if you want a darker pattern strip it only up to the dark part if you want it a little lighter then you can just strip it further back um, the Coq de Leon, of course, because of the length of the barbs, will give you considerably longer uh, antennae than the flank feathers off the migratory birds. Uh, so this time what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll just use, uh, on this size 12, I'll use this summer duck. And the way we do that is just bring the material up. And at the base of where the material, uh, the barbules are matched, I'll just tie it in there and then I'll slowly pull with limited pressure against the hook itself on the thread and then once I've got the got it in place I'll just take a few tight turns and then flip the material up in front and just lay in a couple of good tight turns right in front of the material and you want to sort of flare this this material on the feather and then just proceed with a whip finish three or four knot whip finish is good and remove the thread and now comes the tricky part. So the back of the wing is easily prepared just by snipping off the, the races right where the tie where the, the barbs sort of meet from on either side of the races so that gives you your overwing. Uh, so people are asking me how I'm doing the antennas and everything. Um, so it, it's actually quite easy. Um, I'm going to do something similar to an elk hair procedure. I'll select a couple of barbs to come out one on either side which will be my antenna one there one there and I'll lift this and then just trim that off like an elk hair caddis head And then if I need to clean up anything, I'll just remove any extra barbs I may have missed. Just make sure they have one separated out. And that's, that's my El Caracatus. It's fairly easy to tie. I have lots of motion and movement, both with the antennae and with the CDC. I hope you enjoyed that. And good tying.